Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out the all new Radio Masters Bandit series of the 915 megahertz ELRS external bay RF modules of which there are the Bandit, the Bandit Micro, and the Bandit Nano external bay modules. We are also checking out the all new 915 megahertz ELRS receivers to go along with these external bay modules. We have the Bandit BR1 and the Bandit BR3 915 megahertz ELRS receivers. We are also checking out the all new Bandit Moxon antenna, a high gain directional antenna and the all new Bandit T antenna a high gain omnidirectional antenna. Now, we are already familiar with the Radio Masters Ranger series of the 2.4 gigahertz ELRS external bay modules, the receivers and the Moxon and the T antennas that go along with these external bay modules. Now, if you don't, check out the video link up here and also down there. So as you can see, Radio Master has provided for the RC community mirrored products of the popular 2.4 gigahertz ELRS Ranger series, but now in the far reaching high penetrating 915 megahertz ELRS Bandit series. Now, while some of you may have been perfectly satisfied with the crazy range and penetration of the 2.4 gigahertz ELRS systems, myself included. Some of you may have been wondering why is an ELRS offered in the 915 megahertz band when it provides 2.6 times the range and penetration than the 2.4 gigahertz band? Well, your wish has now been granted, your dreams have now come true, and your demand has now been met. So first, here we have the Bandit. Its outer casing is made from CNC machined aluminum, which efficiently dissipates heat to maintain optimal operating temperature. It has a high contrast OLED display, a five direction navigational joystick, customizable shortcut buttons, and it comes with an 80 millimeter T antenna with a 2.7 dBi gain for general multipurpose flying and an 80 millimeter Moxon directional antenna with a 4.6 dBi gain for long range applications. And they both have the RPSMA connector interface. Now it has up to one watt of power output or 30 dBms, packet rates from 25 hertz to 200 hertz, has built-in TCXO oscillator, built-in accelerometer, ELRS 3.3.1 pre-installed, has RGB lights, high efficiency cooling system, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support, Crossfire and UART port for Futaba radio support, type C port for updates, and XT30 power supply port with six volt to 16.8 volt support. And we also have the micro and the nano bay adapters with the standard eight pin socket. It has all of the features as a standalone ELRS module, so you can make parameter changes, bind to a receiver, and turn on Bluetooth right from the module itself. You don't even have to go into the ELRS LUA script. So this would be the mother of all external bay ELRS 915 megahertz module to get, just like the 2.4 gigahertz Ranger. But if you want something simpler that cost less and smaller, we have the Bandit Micro. Now this will fit in the external JR module bay flush 
with a JR Module Bay standard 5-pin connector like the Boxer radio and the TX16S radios. Now it also has the 1 watt power output or 30 dBm's packet rates from 25 Hz to 200 Hz, ELRS 3.3.1 pre-installed, built-in TCXO oscillator, a convection cooling system, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support, and comes with the 80 millimeter high gain T antenna. It has the type C port for updates, XT30 power supply port with 6 to 16.8 volt support, and it has the high contrast OLED display as well. A five direction navigational joystick, just like the bigger brother Bandit, so unlike the Ranger Micro, the Bandit Micro has more features and can adjust the parameters, bind to receivers, and turn on Bluetooth just like the bigger brother Bandit without going into the ELRS LUA script as well. Now, here's something new. The Bandit Micro has UART solder pads on the PCB. So it can also be repurposed as a receiver. So you can use it as a 1000 milliwatt telemetry receiver for ultra long range flights. It weighs in at 78 grams with the antenna and the dimensions are 64 by 49.6 by 34 millimeters. Now here is the Bandit Nano. Now, it is made for transmitters with a nano external module bay like the Zorro radio, the pocket radio, and even the MT-12 surface radio and other radios with the nano module bay. It still has the 1 watt power output or 30 dBm's ELRS 3.3.1 pre-installed 25 to 200 hertz packet rate, built-in TCXO oscillator, high efficiency cooling system, and it also has a built-in high contrast OLED screen, five direction navigational joystick, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support, comes with the 80 millimeter high gain T antenna, USB type C port for updates, XT30 power supply port with 6 volt to 16.8 volt support and weighs in at just 62.5 grams. Dimensions are 68.5 by 41 by 27 millimeters. Now it also may be repurposed for use as a 1000 milliwatt telemetry receiver for ultra long flights just like the Bandit Micro. So with the Bandit series, as opposed to the Ranger series, Radio Master has put in place more features for the micro and the nano modules, like the OLED screens, five-way directional joystick, and the ability for the micro and the nano modules to be repurposed for use as a receiver for ultra-long range flights. So talking about receivers, there's two new 915 megahertz ELRS receivers to talk about. These are the Bandit BR1 ELRS receiver and the Bandit BR3 ELRS receivers. So let's first take a look at the BR1 receiver. It has a single IPX UFL connector for either a T antenna or a Y antenna, and both of these antennas are included in the package. Now, it is a 915 megahertz receiver, so it will not work with your 2.4 gigahertz radios. So you will need to differentiate it from your 2.4 gigahertz receivers because they look very similar. Now it has 50 milliwatts or 17 dBm of telemetry output power, it has four nice big solder pads, clearly marked, RX, TX, five volt and ground. Now here is a tiny little button for firmware upgrades. 
And here is the long range transceiver, the SX1276 RF chip. Now we got nice big solder pads on the opposite side as well. And there's the ESP8285 MCU chip. Now it comes with instructions, comes with three of these clear heat shrinks and comes with wires to solder onto your flight controller. Now ELRS 3.3.0 firmware is pre-installed. It weighs in at 0 0.9 grams and the dimensions are 18 by 13 millimeters. And finally, we have the Bandit BR3 ELRS 915 megahertz dual T antenna receiver with two UFL IPX connectors. Now this receiver is adjustable from 100 milliwatts to 500 milliwatts of telemetry RF power via the LUA script. Now alongside the two chips, just like the BR1 receiver, we also have the 2435L and 860 to 930 megahertz high power, high performance RF front end module making it much more powerful than the BR1 receiver. We have nice big solder pads on both sides as well. We have the little button for the firmware upgrades. Now, it weighs in at 1.3 grams without the antennas and weighs in at 5.5 grams with the antennas installed. The dimensions are 24 millimeters by 14.2 millimeters also comes with instructions three of these clear heat shrinks and the solder wires to solder onto your flight controller now they both have the same procedure to bind just like the 2.4 gigahertz elrs receivers either via a binding phrase or by powering it up three times and leaving it powered on on the third time. It will show double blinking LEDs, hit bind in the LUA script on your transmitter. So there you have it guys, the all new Radio Masters Bandit series of ELRS 915 megahertz external RF modules, the Bandit, the Bandit Micro and the Bandit Nano. The new Moxon antenna and the T antennas, the Bandit BR1 and the Bandit BR3 915 megahertz ELRS receivers. Now, I have a feeling this is just the beginning of things to come in the 915 megahertz band of things by Radio Master. Now, this is definitely a game changer in the realm of long and ultra long range and deep penetrating drone communication. They are finally here, guys. So check them out. The link is down below in the video description. So that'll do it for this video. So I thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.